American Airlines is overhauling its customer service department, laying off more than 650 workers. Many of those people laid off live and work in North Texas. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has the details tonight. Alex. Hey guys, you know, American Airlines says it is cutting more than 300 non-union customer service jobs right here in DFW. American says it's really about streamlining the customer service process when it comes to canceled flights and lost luggage. Uh, but a travel expert I talked to says the traveling public should be skeptical about the move. With airline travel back to pre-pandemic levels, millions of people are once again passing through airports nationwide. That makes the timing for American Airlines' announcement a little unusual. The Fort Worth-based company will lay off more than 650 workers as it overhauls its customer service department. If we don't have them around, I think it'll be more inconvenient. The airline says more than 300 of those workers are in Dallas-Fort Worth. After three years of record profits at American Airlines, American Airlines has decided to lay off three work groups at um, our company. Deborah Johnson is the president of CWA Local 6001, which represents front-facing passenger service employees like ticket and gate agents at American. The union does not represent the customer service employees being laid off, but Johnson knows many of them. The real big loser in this is our passengers because this work is going to be outsourced. American did not confirm that, but the airline does say it is streamlining the way it handles passenger complaints about lost luggage and canceled flights. So instead of several teams to address various problems, they'll create one new service team. In the most recent earnings call, the airline's CFO described some of the planning, saying, quote, we have spent the last 18 months sizing the opportunity and developing plans to re-engineer our business to be more productive while improving the customer and team member experience, end quote. So I've been writing here from the wing.com for uh, 22 years. Uh, it began out of uh, being a very frequent business traveler. Travel expert Gary Left says in theory, this could make things easier for customers dealing with multiple problems as they would have a single point of contact. But he added that customers should be skeptical about the consolidation of multiple teams into one at a time passengers routinely complain about already long customer service wait times. They're reducing staffing at a time when we've certainly seen agents who are facing mandatory overtime because there has been you know, such a workload for them to get through. Uh, uh, and so it doesn't uh, strike me that the reason for the layoffs is because of better customer service. And Deborah Johnson tells me that those layoffs will go into effect on March 31st. Now, the airline does say that the laid off workers will be uh, the ones to have the first chance at the 135 jobs that will ultimately form this new team. I reached out to American Airlines for further comment or a statement, but have not yet heard back. Steve. All right. Alex Boyer. Alex, thanks.